Welcome to Dr. Chester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about this from New York Post. Twitter refuses, ref, refused to remove child porn because it didn't violate policies. Lawsuit? Well, that's not a surprise considering, well, then again, hmm. Isn't it interesting that means it's rules for thee but not for me kind of deal with these people? Because as far as I know, Parler got muted out from multiple places, not only their apps from Google and Apple, but from the AWS, you know, Amazon Web Services, due to some violence expressed in there because Besides being a small team, it means that they will take some time to eliminate some messages, but some mes messages had to be uh, had to stay there because um, of law enforcement requests and other things like that. But either way, they got pulled. Meanwhile, apps like Twitter can stay in those places on Apple and on Google uncensored. For instance, they actually managed to censor Minds.com app because of um, uh, of the things that are posted in Minds.com. They had to take out the search feature, the comment feature, and another feature that I forgot of the, the app itself. It's completely toothless right now if they wanted to stay on the Google App Store. And that's pretty much exactly what I'm saying here. Why don't you do the same thing on Twitter when they do this? And they do things like this. It's it's disturbing to say the least because it shows the double standards that these companies operate from. These are absolutely fucking unexcusable, really. It's unexcusable for things like this to happen. But it's double standards, we know. And besides, we can, I kind of understand why they wouldn't eliminate those things, because Twitter is control left. They are as far left as it goes. And we know, we know for a fact that the control left has a pedophile problem. Not that they see it as a problem, because they actually embrace these people. You know, because the, the control left is infested with a child... Ugh child lovers or things like that, pedophiles and rapists, sex pests and other things like that, who passes on as feminists, as progressives and other things. And these people should be jailed. And that's why Twitter doesn't see it as a problem or as something that violated their standards. Because, quite frankly, it's part of their demographic. And they view it as normal. Ugh. Filthy people. Anyway, let's get to the news. Twitter refused to, uh, to take down widely shared pornographic images and videos of a teenage sex trafficking victim because an investigation didn't find a violation. Yeah, right. They are capable of actually adding um, editorializing Trump's tweets, but this. Mm -mm. Uh, identify a violation of company's policies as scathing lawsuit alleges. The federal suit filed Wednesday by the victim and his mother in Northern District of California. It's gonna get dismissed. Alleges Twitter made money off the clips, which show the 13 year old engaged in sex acts and are a form of child sexual abuse material or child porn, the suit states. The teen, who is now 17 and lives in Florida, He's identified only as John Doe, and was between 13 and 14 years old when sex traffickers posing as a 16-year-old female classmate started chatting with him on Snapchat, the suit alleges. Doe and the traffickers allegedly exchanged nude photos before conversations turned to blackmail. Jesus Christ, and that is okay with Twitter because apparently that's the normal thing to do between these control left imbeciles. If the tweet, oh, if the team didn't share more sexually graphic photos and videos, the explicit material he you know, already sent would be shared with his parents, coach, and pastor, and others. The suit state, Jesus Christ. And this is disturbing. Though acting under duress, initially complied and sent videos of himself performing sex acts. 
and was told to include another child, Jesus Christ, in his videos, which he did the suit claims. Eventually, Doe blocked the traffickers and they stopped harassing him, but at some point in 2019, the video surfaced on Twitter on the two accounts that were known to share child sexual abuse material, court papers allege. Holy shit, and they didn't even take that down. That down. Look, I can't even create an account on Twitter without being instantly banned. How did these imbeciles get away with it? Ah, of course, because, after all, they don't burn these people and they're probably, their original accounts or things like that are probably pesting or pesting uh, uh, Trump or other things like that and they say, hey, this is one of those people, one of old people, so we don't do anything bad. <laughs> Over the next month, the videos would be reported through Twitter at least three times. First on, the, on December 25, uh, 25th, 2019, but the tech giant failed to do anything about it until a federal law enforcement officer got involved. Jesus Christ! The suit states Doe became aware of the tweets in January 2020 because they have been viewed widely by his classmates, which subjected him to teasing, harassment, vicious bullying and led him to become suicidal, called records show. Oh, because he's a male, they won't care out, they won't also, they won't even care about it. After all, it's California, it's California, and the wokeness in there is, well, probably Nurgle level now, they're kind of so Nurgle-ish in there that it's impossible to kill now. Yeah. Either way, let's go. Because, after all, you can't kill a Chaos God in Warhammer. It's impossible. Well, though parents contacted the school and made police reports, he filed a complaint with Twitter saying there were two tweets depicting child pornography of himself and they needed to be removed because they were illegal, harmful and were in violation of the site's policies. Not only that country's policy too, this is utterly illegal. They should have taken it down the moment it showed up or banned those imbeciles who created these accounts. But nah, it's Twitter. They get away with things. A support agent followed up and asked for a copy of those IDs so they could prove it was him. And after the team complied, there was, there was no response for a week, the family claims. Around the same time, Doe's mother filed two complaints to Twitter reporting the same material, and for a week she also received no response, the suit states. Finally, on January 28th, Twitter replied to Doe and said they wouldn't be taking down the material. Holy shit! It had already dropped up of uh, over 167,000 views and 2,223 retweets, the suit states. How oh, fuck me! Okay, I know that some of these may actually be his classmates trying to tease him or harass him in some some sort of way, shape or form. But uh, I don't think that more than 100 uh, could be his classmates or his schools. But uh, holy shit, the Twitter has a has a pedo problem. Then again, they also even add on their uh, on their profiles. MAP, minor attracted person. Jesus Christ, these people are trying to normalize pedophilia and child rapists and pests, sexual pests. You know, when you think my opinion of Twitter and these people couldn't get any lower, there you go. They go on and prove me wrong and my opinion of them gets even lower. God, these people are filthy scum. Anyway, uh, quote. Thanks for reaching out. We reviewed the content and identified a violation of our policies. Tweet, tweet. So no action will be taken at this time. Tweet, tweet. The response reads, according to the lawsuit, quote, if you believe there's a potential copyright infringement, tweet, tweet. Please start a new report. Tweet, tweet. If the content is hosted on a third party website, tweet, tweet. You'll need to contact the website support team to sort of report it. Tweet, tweet. Your report is most important thing. If you believe you are in danger, we encourage you to contact your local authorities. Tweet, tweet. Oh, filthy cum. Come on. 
In his response, it, uh, publishing the complaint, Doe appeared shocked. What do you mean you don't see a problem? We both are minors right now and, and were minors at the time of these videos were taken. We both were 13 years of age. We were baited, harassed and threatened to take these videos that are now being posted without our permission. We did not authorize these videos at all and they need to be taken down. The team wrote back to Twitter. Twitter doesn't care. He even included his case number from a local law enforcement agency, but still the tech giant allegedly ignored him and refused to do anything about it illegal child sexual abuse material, as continued to rack up more and more views. Two days later, those mom was connected with an agent from the Department of Homeland Security through a mutual contact, who successfully had the videos removed on January 30th. The suit states, finally. Quote, only after this takedown demand from the federal agent did Twitter suspend the user accounts that were distributing the CSM and reported the CS CSAM to the National Center on Missing and Exploited Children. Finally, states the suit, filed by the National Center on Sexual Exploitation and two law firms. Jesus Christ, Twitter, you're a cesspool. You are like the... You uh, Well, you know... Thinking about it, Reset Era, Reset, uh, Reset Era, and Twitter may actually be the bonghole of the internet, you know? No. No, no. They are the dingleberries of the internet. Reset Era is that dingleberry here, in the, stuck in that tube, and Twitter is the only dingleberry over here stuck in that other two, um, pube over here. But Twitter is the larger dingleberry because of the quantity of users in there. You know, there are shit particles forming the big, big ball of uh, the dingleberry that forms Twitter. That's what it is. Anyway, let's finish this news because it's... <sighs> Quote, this is directly in contrast to what their automated reply message and user agreement, agreement state they will do to protect children. End quote. The disturbing lawsuit goes on to allege Twitter knowingly hosts scripts who use the platform to exchange child porn material and profits from it by including ads interspersed between tweets, advertising or requesting the material. Sorry, coffee. Twitter declined to comment when contacted by the post. Of course they'll decline it. They are the ones who managed to censor that um, that news report from Hunter Biden's laptop. They said it was hacked material or it was fake. And after the election, they said it wasn't fake anymore. So, eh, interesting, right? How things work with these people. Double standards, double standards. Hypocrisy and other little things like that. Wonderful, right? Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and head to minds.com forward slash Dr. Jester for spicier content that I cannot share around here. You know, on Karin Tube or AOC Tube. Huh, cool, right? New names, Karin Tube. It fits. Anyway, thank you for watching. Good night.